What's going on guys? So today's video is going to be a quick one, but I want to talk about where to get free images for your website and awesome images for that matter. So I'm going to give you three different sites where you can get free images. Literally don't have to sign up, don't have to pay anything. It's awesome. And then I'm going to show you how to optimize your images and put them onto your website so that they run like that. So the worst thing that can happen is when a user goes to your website and they're just waiting for the image to sit there and tick down until it's fully loaded. So that means that you're using way too high of quality of images or they're not optimized. So I'm going to show you how to do all that stuff starting right now. Okay, so the first website is called pixabay.com. So Pixabay has awesome photos. So to go to Pixabay, just go up and open a new window and type in pixabay.com. So if you want, you could just search for your image right here, or you could just browse some of their latest photos if you'd like. But I'm just gonna type one in. Let's say I'm gonna do travel. And then you get all these awesome travel related photos. So there's just a lot of stunning images in here and these photographers are super impressive. So let's say I really liked an image. All I gotta do is click on it. And then there's a button over here on the right that says free download. So just click that. And then you can choose the size that you want. So if this is gonna be for your main header at the top of your homepage, I recommend the 1920. So this is gonna be large, but not too large. And again, I'm gonna show you how to optimize these images so that they run a lot faster on your website. So if you want that image, just go ahead and click on the download button. And then you just gotta prove that you're not a robot, which we're not, we're real human beings. And then just click on the download button. And then that will hit your downloads. And if you want, you can donate to the authors and all that. Uh, I actually have before because I appreciate when people put free stuff up on the internet for me to use. Okay, so the next website is called pexels.com. So I'm just going to go up to my browser and type in pexels.com. And again, same thing. It's a lot like Pixabay. So you can just search for the photos that you want or you can browse some of these. And these also have uh, free videos as well, which is really cool. So I actually have downloaded a lot of free videos from Pexels. But again, if you want to search for one, I'll just type in city and then click enter. And there you go. So then you got a ton of city pictures that you can get. And if you just want to download one, all you have to do is click on it. I actually really like this one right here. So I'm gonna click on that. And then again, you can just go over to free download. And if you wanna choose the size, you just click on this little arrow over here on the right. And you've got the original, which is actually pretty big. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the large. Or if you'd like, you can do a custom size down here by entering in your own width and your own height. And then just simply click on download. Cool, so now that photo just hit our downloads as well. Okay, and the last site is called unsplash.com. So let's just go up to our search bar and type in unsplash. And again, just like the others, it's pretty straightforward. All you have to do is search for the image right here if you want, or you can browse some of their images down here. But the cool thing about Unsplash is that you actually have these categories up here in the top menu. So if you wanted, you could just search for just textures and patterns if you want more of a subtle background for your website. And then you've got all these awesome textures that you can browse through. So that is pretty cool. I don't think the other two sites had this. Uh, if they do, feel free to let me know in the comments if I was wrong. But I usually just search for my images uh, instead of browsing because I usually know exactly what I want. By the way, guys, so the reason I'm recommending three different sites is because I go to one site, search for it. If I can't quite find what I'm looking for, I'll try the second one and then the third one. Usually out of the three, I find exactly what I need without having to fork over $50 for one image on a paid stock photography website. Okay, back to it. And with all the others, if you want to download one of these images, just simply click on it. And then you'll see the little download free button up at the top and you just hit that and it'll give you a free image. And I don't actually think you're able to choose the size on Unsplash like you were on the other ones. So be mindful of that. The way to check the size is by opening the image, right click on it, and then go down to File Info. And here it'll tell us the dimensions. So it's 3500 
by 1998, which is a pretty high image. So as a bonus, I'll also show you how to resize an image with a free online editor. So just simply go up and open up a new tab and type in photor.com. And then just go down and click on the edit a photo button. And then you can just exit out of this little pop-up window here. And all you want to do is just open up a photo by clicking on the open button. Go to computer. And then just grab the image that you want to resize. So in this case, this was that 3500 image, which you can see right there whenever I hover over it. So let's grab that and then just go down to open. And then you'll see this little resize button down here. It's got a drop down menu. Just click on that. And then you'll see the sizes right here. So if you leave this locked, it will be a proportionate size. So if I wanted, I could just type in 1900 and it will proportionally size with 1085 on the other side. And then just click on the, well, it's in the way, but hit got it. And then just click on the apply button. Cool, so now that image just resized. So now all you have to do is just go up to the save button and click on that. And it's gonna ask you to create an account. Honestly, I just connect with Facebook or if you want, you can make an account, but it only takes about two seconds and they don't spam you with a bunch of emails and stuff, which is pretty nice. So I'm just gonna do connect with Facebook. Cool, and then it'll ask, do I wanna save it as a JPEG or a PNG? So in this case, I'm just gonna keep it as JPEG and you can even rename the file. So now you can even change the quality to normal or high, but I'm gonna keep it as normal and then just click on download. Cool, so now that image just hit our downloads folder. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how to optimize your images so that they run fast on your website. And it's pretty simple, so let's hop in and do that. Okay, so to optimize your images, I'm just gonna go up to my search bar in a new tab, and I'm gonna type in a website called Optimazilla. Cool, so this is Optimazilla. It's super straightforward. All you have to do is just click on the Upload Files button, select the image that you wanna optimize. So let's just say that we wanna put this one on our website homepage and we want it to load a lot faster. So just click on the image and then just click on open. So as you can see, it's compressing the image, which basically means it's making the file size smaller. So a little bit of compression, you'll never notice a drop in quality. If you compress the image too much, then you'll start to get some pixelated looking photos. So right here, it compressed it by 23%. So if you wanted to compress it a little bit more, you can just go down here and you can drag around your image and see what it's doing. So at 23%, there is literally no difference in quality. At least I can't tell. But if you wanted, you could drop the quality down even more to say a 41. And this is gonna make the image incredibly fast. But as you can see, we're losing a little bit of quality here. So I don't recommend going that far. So I'm gonna drag this back up to say a 70. So that's pretty good. So just click on the apply button. And as you can see, it's recompressing and just like that, it's done. So now just click on download. And now that new photo just hit our downloads. Okay, so there you have it guys. That is how to get free images from three different sites and optimize the images to put on your website. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button or if you want more awesome website tutorials, tips, tricks, literally everything web design related, smash that subscribe button on my channel. You will not be sorry, I promise. All right guys, thanks for watching Create a Pro website and I will see you on the next video.